Good morning everybody, my name is Dr. J.D. Swanson and this is 15 Minutes of Thought. And what I want to do is I want to give you a very quick play on um, just a, a variation, a simple variation on hand shot arm, just for fun and to help you with a little bit of fluidity in terms of backward stepping and things like that. So phase one, so let's, let's get started. Hey, us. Very good. So phase one, let's just practice hand shot arm, basic, good solid technique, thinking about body timing and so forth. Just here, just the first four movements. One, two, three, four. Good. And of course, I'm not doing hand shot on, I'm doing take your push shot on, I have a small brain. So you just want the block, the punch, the turn, the punch. Just simple. A couple of things to remember as you're doing this to warm up is the idea of not rock back and push forward. Think simple explosion down with the hip. Try to get your timing good, right? Make sure it's not one and two. So feel simple. The way I do this, I have a simple outward pressure on my feet. You can see it in my pelvis. It just lifts slightly as I draw down. Then as you step, push. The next thing that people have trouble with is this next turn, right? Making it not unsloppy. The key thing is make sure that you get your center over this rear leg and turn. Right? Don't try and turn too early, it becomes sloppy. So rather feel here, here, and round. That flavor. And then of course the last step, I'm out of room, feels just here. So what I want you to do is just practice that, practice good technique. Make sure that as you go here, feel, drop, feel, step. Make sure as you go from here to here, make this transition as you go. That way, it becomes quicker and more controlled. Here, transition. Now push. Okay? Go through just those beginning parts of hand shot arm. Off you go. Excellent. Well, let's say that you're running out of room, right? My dojo, I'm not as big as my old one. I can admit that. But as you go through this time, feel what we're going to do is we're going to change it from oizuki to pull back, make oizuki. So how it will work is here, one, then from here, making the pull back, two, then turn, then pull back, three. This kind of feeling. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through it 20, 30 reps. Just practicing one, pull two, three, pull two. This feeling. And then we'll work on that act of motion for the rest of the class. Give it a go. Excellent. So you felt that, and probably how it feels to you is here. Oh, it's so hard to get back and push, right? That kind of feeling. Let's work on that specifically today. So what I want you to do is from here, think about what we've learned from hand shot arm. This idea of transitioning back using our legs. So if you imagine I'm one of those string puppets, my feet are stuck to the floor, you push in my base, and I go floppy. Then you let my base out, whoop, the string goes taut, right? You've probably seen those at one point or another. Let's pretend I'm one of those. So my feet are stuck to the floor. What I can do is I can actively move my center round with my feet stuck on the floor. This is how you want to imagine that. We make that first position here. I transition my center back over my foot. You don't want to necessarily pull your leg back. Just feel here and feel the weight come out of the front foot. Now it's easy for me to swing my leg through instead. Right? It's exactly the equivalent of trying to push off this leg too early and stunts. You've got to swing your leg through. You've got to build that momentum first. You've got to get your center moving before you can really engage that front leg. Before that, it's all gastrocnemius, right? It's all back heel push. So feel me yeah, as you go. Same here. As I go, I've got to transition the weight out of this leg. Transition it out. Now it's easy to move and very smooth. The other thing that I think about when I do this, when I make that particular transition, is if I get a stick, right, I'm going to make my stance, right, so it's here, you can see 
heel to heel, same. All I'm going to do is basically follow the line of the stick down. So this would simply carry on on the same line, yeah? So keeping that linear action sort of idea in your, in your mind. This is the same idea for the next piece. So we're here. Feel that transition. Feel your center going in the direction you want it to go and then turn it. Right? For that turn. For our foot switch, it's very similar. So what we're doing, we've done our block. Now, as I go, all you want to do is just make that same transition. Just transition back. So go back as far as you can, then allow the foot to come up, then drive. Turn, feel the transition, one foot will move, then drive. This feeling. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking it down into one, two, three. Transition, squeeze, drive. Turn, transition, squeeze, drive. This feeling. Now, pay attention to your drive, right? So I'm here, transition, and notice as I pull, uh, as I transition, I'm not, because that's good for your knee, right? As I transition, I squeeze, I let my knee naturally track over my toe, which is what you should always do. When I go to the squeeze stage, everything corrects, and then I drive forward. So pay attention to that in terms of your knee health. So here, Transition, squeeze, drive. This feeling. So, let's try that. You can, again, I'll show you one, and then from there you try a few on your own. So it's here, transition down, transition, squeeze, drive. Turn, transition, squeeze, drive. As you push. Give that a go, I'll come back, and then come back to me in a sec. Excellent. Okay, so you've tried that. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention. The transition's the key. Now as you do the squeeze, feel. Feel it as a squeeze. Don't, as you're here, don't push. Notice I can no longer push off the leg. If you're here and pushing, that's that labored or be labored movement that you were feeling probably before. Instead, by transitioning my weight, that now forces me to close my legs together. Pretend as if somebody's gonna kick you between the testicles. So as you're here, feel, then squeeze, then push forward. Be very cognizant that you're not just letting this hip go, that your rear hip is pushing in, driving with all good oizukis, yeah? So here, you're in hami, transition, squeeze, drive. This feeling. Give that a go, paying attention to those important points. That it's the transition, knee track, and then squeeze your legs together, then push straight forward, this feeling. Very good. Give it a go, come back to me. Excellent, so you've got that sort of under control. Now what you wanna do is make it a little bit more fluid. The way you do that is pay attention to your hips. You're here, you pull back, you make your cover, now simply allow the hip to throw. So just simply, just push your hip. Push your hip. So don't think of it so much now as one, two, three. Think of it now as simply here, I'm here and I'm just switching my hip. I'm just changing my hip position. Okay? And allow the arm to naturally come out. What will happen is your feet will naturally do the transition that's necessary. And again, the transition of the feet will matter directly depending on how far away your opponent is. Right? If they're closer, you may transition shorter to come further in. If they're further away, I may transition them further, to, further back to get the distance that I need. Make sense? So for us, we're going through the center. So feel we're going just in a neutral, basic position. So here, transition. Now just think about pushing off this hip. The hip will come back and you'll drive forward. It will do that naturally. So think here, one. Think transition, two. One, transition, two. Come around, then transition, punch. What you may find is that your punch may go out earlier. That's fine. 
right, for the purpose of this drill. Remember, the punch can go out at any time my body center is moving forward. Okay, so allow that to happen, allow that to make sense. So what I want you to do is give it a go just here. Try this nice fluid action of here, now just transition and push. Here, transition and push. Just feeling that, just nice and relaxed. Give it a go, smoothness is what you want rather than the sort of sticky sort of technique. Give it a go. Excellent, so the last piece for us is from here. Feeling it drop down. Now try and run it together. So what you've got is you've got the order of words right. One, one, two, three, round. One, two, three. Now what you want to do is keep that order of words, but rather than making them discrete, one, two, three, go into what you were just trying to. Make them slur together, one, two, three. But make sure they don't fall out of order. Two, one, three. Keep them one, two, three, one, two, three. So here, feel that nice push, turn, transition, push. This feeling, to feel that motion. Notice your body weight must transition back, that's the point, don't just leave it here and do this. That's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to get out and come back in. So allow transition, push, this feeling. Right, so from here, just trying, it's gonna be one, one, two. Turn, one, one, two, this feeling. Give it a go and then come back and then I've got a couple of other words for you and then we'll finish there. Excellent, so one thing that becomes important is your center controls everything. Steve Ubel says this constantly and he's so right. Right, so allow that to happen. The second thing though, is that while it's center driven, what will happen is your end purpose is to hit the person. So here, let this drive back, let this pull back. Notice I'm not thising, I'm thising, right? Not this, this. So as this goes, remember that you want to punch the person. So here, as soon as this transitions back, as soon as I'm safe, now go back. Have that feel. Turn, make the transition. Guard, you can do whatever you need to do. You can do whatever you need within that center piece, right? You can make whatever you need as your feet come together. For me, if there's somebody coming out, I've just blocked them. I'm pulling out to see what they do. They attack, there's my point point they can go. I can use that within the technique. I can use that within the technique that I've got, okay? So having that feet together in that particular position where it's there, squeeze, I can use the squeeze to throw out another technique should I need. Likewise, if you notice if my purpose is to get out and punch, my punch will always land first. It's here, squeeze, all oh, punches out. But what I can do is I can then squeeze and punch twice. I can get that second one in as I throw. So you can use these kinds of variations to start to sneak in on this. As long as one, two, three. One. One, two, three. With that, that's the end for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk again soon. Hey, bus.